interesting personality and artistic eye. She looks to uplift younger ladies. She is determined and unwavering. Ms. Hostetter has seen, has seen that she has found a way to use her talent in the arts to say something. And she looks forward to seeing her shows in the future because she knows Carrington will make a statement. Congratulations, Carrington! Christopher Michael Davenport. Senora Marbury describes Chris as incredibly talented and very humble. He is respectful and a great example to his peers. Dr. Bush laments they could not make music classes work into Chris's high school schedule, but notes he is glad I have the chance to bump into you and experience a bit of your gifts in music. You're an awesome young man. Mrs. Stevens says Chris is gifted in so many areas. He is honest, fun-loving, thoughtful, exuberant, diligent, tenacious, and provocative. I have thoroughly enjoyed watching him problem solve both in and outside of physics these last few years. I will not be here, but am excited to see what the Lord has in store. Thank you, Christopher. Isabel Grace DeGainer. Like Isabel's middle name, Madame Wood was impressed with her grace along with her maturity, self-discipline, and sense of justice. It's truly been an honor to be her teacher, and I will miss her so much. Mrs. Waterbury adds, in basketball, she was the most determined post player I have ever seen. She has modeled a servant's heart to the team as she gave scouting reports, went over plays, and made sure the girls had water. My favorite moment of the 2020 season was watching Isabel, Isabel play on her home court for the last time. It was one of the most heartwarming celebratory moments of the season. Congratulations, Isabel. Haley Gabrielle Ellington. Mrs. Foote has loved watching Haley grow from freshman year. She is an active learner, inquisitive about the material, and seeks to understand difficult concepts. She always puts effort into every assignment. I always appreciate how she works well with all types of people. Ms. Hostetter echoes a similar sentiment, noting, Haley doesn't meet the stranger. Her smile and bubbly personality was always something I enjoyed in class. Senorita Sherman tells Haley, I will never forget meeting you for the first time. You were so excited about anything Spanish related. Your positivity is contagious. Thank you, Haley. Jared Paul Irvin. Ms. Galloway has loved the joy Jared brings to those around him. I enjoy the humor and jokes Jared engaged in constantly. Whether shooting rubber bands at a pop can on my desk or tossing gummy bears to his friends in class. What I appreciated the most, though, was the respect he had for me when I asked him to pause the jokes and engage in learning. He always honored class time when I asked him to set aside the fun and games for a period of dedicated focus. Mr. Bachman noticed, Jared has unique gifts and a sharp mind. He has a drive that keeps him active in the pursuit of his passion. Congratulations, Jared. Anna Rebecca Giacoma.
Mr. Donnan is impressed with Anna's dedication, loyalty, and humility, and is excited to see how the Lord will use her. Mr. Satterfield has loved watching Anna become aware of what she is passionate about and being open to where God may lead her and how he may use her in those arenas. Madame Wood and Mrs. Matthews both know her sweet spirit. Mrs. Matthews goes on to say, Anna has a sincere desire to help others with love and compassion. She never compromises on what she believes in and leads by example daily. Congratulations, Anna. Mari, your gift. Mrs. Stevens appreciated Mari's drive and intensity by noting, when he decides he's going to do something, he really goes after it. Mrs. Kowalski notes, there were a lot of mornings when Mari had to stop by the office to see me. Whenever he does, Mari is quiet and soft-spoken and always sweet and kind. Mrs. Hofstetter has learned to listen closely and encourages others to listen to Mari by saying, if you listen, you will hear some wise words coming from Mari. He may not always be the loudest voice, but he has something to say worth listening to. Thank you, Mari. Caleb Joseph Glenn. To Caleb, Mr. Satterfield says, I met you when you were in fifth grade baseball camp. I am so proud of the young man you have become and how you have continued to allow yourself to be shaped and molded by the Lord. It has been a privilege to watch you pursue goodness and humility and walk humbly with your God. I cannot wait to see all that you accomplish in life outside SES. Mr. Donnan shares the excitement by saying, I am excited to see the man and leader Caleb is becoming. Congratulations, Caleb. Charles Ian Canopy. <laughs> Miss Galloway observes, Ian is kind and friendly. Even before having him as a student in class, he would say hello to me in the halls. I love his kind joy and continual interest in knowing others well. Ms. Hostetter describes Ian as a considerate young man. He is willing to serve and willing to learn. Mr. S. tells Ian, your grit and determination in athletics and the classroom will mold you in more ways than you know right now. I look forward to all you will accomplish in life. I hope that you know how much you are loved by the King. And congratulations, Ian. Nolan Carter Hart. <laughs> Mr. Boffman has seen Nolan to be a hardworking and caring man. He loves Jesus and seeks to live for him. Ms. Hostetter shares that Nolan showed me there is a lot more to himself than a quiet kid sitting in the back of the class. He has a nice balance of the seriousness and humor, which really makes him likable. Senorita Sherman tells no Nolan, Senor Corazon, you will be sorely missed. You added so much life and humor to our Spanish classes, both last year and this year. You are also an outstanding chef. I will always remember your homemade salsa recipe. Thank you, Nolan. Dejan Dantes Humphrey.
And Tom Wood says, Dejan, I will always remember you. Thank you for the kindness you've extended to me. You are an amazing young man. Mr. Donnan has noticed that Dejan cares for people and is loyal to family and friends. He is unafraid to stand up for what is right and diligently works to get better each day. Mr. Van Dyke describes him as boisterous and competitive. Mr. Satterfield tells Dejan, I loved watching you pursue your goal of playing Division I basketball and admire your dedication to obtain it. I also admire your commitment to your faith as you step into the next chapter of life at Holy Cross. Congratulations, Dejan! Maria Sierra Jackson. <laughs> Mrs. Foote always appreciated Maria's beautiful smile. After a long day, she would brighten up the anatomy classroom. Mrs. Stevens noticed Maria is gentle and kind, even when she was stressed. She always treated me with kindness and respect. Mr. Boffman notes that Amaria has a great understanding of who she is in Jesus. She has a vision of what she wants to do in life and has the drive, determination, and focus to achieve it. Thank you, Amaria. Alexandra Renee McDade Johnson. Mrs. Waterbury observed, Alex is one of the most compassionate and wise young ladies I have ever come across. She is naturally intelligent, but she is also teachable. In the classroom, she is quiet, sincere, and thoughtful. I am most impressed by Alex's refusal to be swayed by her peers. She has truly committed her life to Christ. Senorita Sherman tells Alex, I will miss teaching class and looking back to see you in a giraffe mask. You are caring, a deep thinker, and make those around you feel loved and valued. God is going to continue to use your steady leadership and your gifts for his glory. Congratulations, Alex. Ronald William Johnson III. Ms. Hostetter says, Ronald has a goofy side that I always found fun in class, but he also has a serious side that shows he's care for others. Mrs. Waterbury remembers, I am so impressed with how much Ron has grown and matured in high school. He is a kind, considerate young man. Ron also has a heart for his classmates. One day, he asked me to check in with a classmate who seemed to be having a bad day. Although Ron wasn't friends with this student, he wanted to make sure the student was okay. This just gives a snapshot of Ron's caring heart for other people. Congratulations, Ronald. Austin David Little. Mrs. Bowman remembers, Austin got stuck sitting next to me on a bus ride home from a field trip in ninth grade. He humored me and talked the whole ride back to the school. His positive attitude and outlook as a student were contagious and will be missed. Senora Marbury comment comments, Austin is such an amazing and caring young man. He is a great example to the underclassmen and has an encouraging spirit. It has been a pleasure getting to know Austin and I am so proud of him. I personally appreciate Austin's care and concern for others. It has been a great example. Thank you, Austin. Jada Christina Manns. 
questions and things that she had heard. Mr. Boffman also recognized Jada to be full of passion and life. Mrs. Bowman has seen Jada grown so much at SES. Her skills as a volleyball player have taken her from a novice to a force to be reckoned with. Off the court, Jada always greets me with a smile and fondly refers to me as Mama Bowman. Her hard work and friendly manner make for a winning combination. Congratulations, Jada. Gabriel Charles McFerrin. Mr. Van Dyke appreciates that Gabe is both quiet and humorous. Mrs. Foote comments, Gabe has a quiet strength and leadership I have always admired. He is a true leader and will represent himself well where he lands. He is diligent and persistent, and I admire how he sticks with and keeps trying things that are hard. Mr. Bachman says of Gabe, he is a man full of wisdom, determination, and a proper understanding of how his past has shaped him for his future. He will be a great leader because he serves others like Jesus. Thank you, Gabe. Christina Joy Moore. Ms. Hostetter recognizes Christina as a young lady who knows her talents and uses them to glorify the Lord. Mrs. Christofferson states, Christina is a determined student, a kind friend, and an amazing musician and artist. Senora Marbury recognizes Christina's many talents and ability to remain humble. Mr. Boffman tells us, Christina is a woman of God because she is honest, real and seeks to love and live for Jesus. Her pursuit of genuine authenticity is a mask of maturity. Congratulations, Christina! Candee Marie Norman! Mr. Bachman says of Kande, she is someone who defines strength and loyalty to me. She cares deeply for those close to her. Kande will succeed.